There. That workshop. The perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks. What are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law, that man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though. United under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear, for we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Goslin and Ebels, warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of past, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests. Avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must- Brother, you talk too much! Come on, let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come, let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I have met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let's travel light and stick to the rooftops. <laughs> Siegfried Skullbreaker is here! Come, men! We shall take this workshop and make it our own! We scouted the place. They keep watch, but not well. And the sight lines? A perfect place for our catapults to hurl stones upon that cursed town. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Siegfried! I am no goat-footed climber like you! Catapults are eager for battle. The crack of wood and stone is the sound of victory and vengeance. I should not be seen in this area. Go! 
Great victory. The gods smiled upon this day. Indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson? The god of vengeance, who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes. Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands that stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nornir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp, when all is ready, Siegfried. Abundantly clear! Oh, Looks like the backstage. Maybe Charles lurks with it. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be. That takes the little ones. Yes, Demon. What? What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. No. No, 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 no. <sighs> it is only the heathen, led astray by Lucifer, but mortal all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> Forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. <laughs> Let me assure you. My demon exists, as does my god. <coughs> Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand for that trick you played on me and the queen. That will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and a, a free hand in England, correct? Only you can save your people from Siegfried's wrath. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man, with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope, and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? Haha, <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. 
while Bias Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard. My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed, and I will consider the merits of your offer. Else be gone. You want him brought to a dingy theater where you talk to yourself in the dark? Hmm. No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish scalds. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the prince lacks honor. Well, we should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. But what else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toga. Back and forth. You. We're a Siegfried and Toka. Ah, uh, battle must be near. The crow has come for the feast. You have a clever tongue, friend. But tomorrow we all speak in a language older than words. Fate already knows who lives and who dies. Again I ask, where are the others? <sighs> Fetching more catapults for tomorrow's attack. You can wait. I shall wait. Somewhere else. Strong red wine, and we are drunk. Far from home. For another city of strangers. When did our lives become a saga, Sunan? <coughs> yes. I know the day. The very day when mother and father died. Count Odo will not hear reason. Charles plays games. I cannot trust the lives of my people with such men. The queen now. She I could trust, but she lacks power. My place is here, with Siegfried and Toka, come what may. Eivor, you return! That means all is ready, and we cannot turn back now. Why do you worry? You'll collect more swords. I know how to fight other warriors on the field of battle. This is a city. There will be flames. It matters not. Tomorrow we will fight as warriors, not ruthless killers. As I swear upon my honor. Ah, Eivor the Talker. And to whom have you so freely given your word about how my battle goes? I said it. The gods heard it. That is enough. 
And if I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you? Then I would say, mind who is first to feed the ravens, lest it be yourself. Eivor does not mean these words. Quiet, Toka. Let the talker speak. Come, Eivor. Tell me again how I shall feed the crows. My steel will speak for me tomorrow, to my foes. I have no quarrel with you, yet. Ha ha ha! Good! Good! Keep that fire burning through the night. It shall kindle our vengeance at the break of dawn. Time to go lie on my furs. How do you do that, Eivor? Sleep before a battle, I mean. Easy. I remember my mother's murder. Each moment. Second, I recall every word the old father ever said to me. And finally, I think upon this war-filled world. And of the next, the whole of endless wonder. Only then do I rest. Fret, my faithful friend. It is a great honor to be sacrificed as Odin's steed. Today you die. <laughs> Today, warriors! We shall take that city and sack it and burn it to the ground! And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace! Or in Odin's hall, with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory! The day of vengeance! the king of glory the lord is strong and mighty in battle he trains my hands for war so that my arms may hold this cross of gold i shall not yield brave sif bring the gift of victory 
Odin, lend me your helm of art. Vida, feed my need for vengeance of Vanir. Oasir, crush these walls. I am the gate of Paris! Fate favors the brave. Now what's secret? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! To the palace! Fire and vengeance! Faster! Faster! Catch! Follow me, Pontius! To hell of victory! He's dead. They are all Norse. Where are those Frankish dogs? The silence gnaws my guts. Shields up and close ranks! right into Odo's trap like a healing elk. Do not lose heart, Siegfried. Battle is a fickle goddess. Uncle, it is worse. The scouts report that warrior priest, uh... Gasling. Yes, he rallies a large force of Franks in the east, in that church. Damn the gods. They will crush us out in the open. What do we do? Our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes, do it. I will get the wounded out and alert the catapults before rejoining you. Good. And I will take down this warrior priest Gaslan before he rallies the Franks. Hey, 
Ivor, keep up! We must light those towers! Gates are down! Charge! Bad. Barbarian, please help me! I remember you, the silent jester from the tavern. You have earned my eternal gratitude. I assume you seek the war priest, Goslin? Please, take the church key. It's brought me only trouble. Thanks. It seems you found your tongue after all. Come on. 
darkness or a light. Join your nailed god in death as you served him in life. Mama, I'm scared. Clear the hall. Hush, child. Shh, hush. Come, Eivor. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength. Blood red wine for your drinking horn, my brother. How does this end, Toka? Killing everyone? It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He will slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Odo, I can make him surrender to stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Goslan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way over, under or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I'll get in. Smuggler, I last saw you in the tunnels. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. The slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Charles is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods, his army comes. Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way, but there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor, I give you my word that Toka and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. If we don't get into all those palaces somehow!
How can you think of an animal lusts today of all days? We may die today. Should I spend my last moment scrubbing floors or making love? May God have mercy on your soul, Aborda. Sneaking through the back door like that. Who are you? And what Following are you doing? that love-struck mage lead me into the palace. Stop! Mon cher is coming, and... and he'll lock you up! Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother... Pardon me, but is that food for Count Dodo? No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer, from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest, Walter, to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of you. Odo's bedroom. If his wife is inside, she might know where he is. Awesome. 
do die a drunk. Pardon me, father. Where's Count Odo? Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, oh, my memory has gone all hazy. Do die a drunk. Disgrace before God! Unfit even to say last night for the Countess! And Count! A bottle of wine for that drunken priest. As if he needs another. Here is your wine. Now do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ. The fiery flame of the world! Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here. Take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should head to Oro's bedroom. Is that you, Odo, my love? No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? The light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? Oh, yes. I am the priest, your ladyness. Forgive me, Father. I have seen it. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor, thinking God would be my shield. And now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, Father? Are they safe? They are, are safe with that good man, Walter Dussan. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key. In the bureau. Take it. Help my husband. A any way you can. Death creeps upon me now. Slow and quiet. Like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother... Where are you? Farewell, good lady. My lord, the day is lost. Give the honor. What good are our debts, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. 
Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mother as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She's said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works. I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight, and someday I will die with steel in my hand. This I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Norda! Flee for Paris! Do not make me slay you! Honor the man! One of us will die! A fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo. But not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Charles and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles will hold Pale. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor, and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor! 
thank the gods you live. As to you. Good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby. Safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. Ah, so it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By lock his bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. Your battle, Siegfried. Your choice. I am here to forge my own truce with Charles. You earned your share of the wealth all the same. Never fear, Eivor. Charles must put his kingdom back together. He cannot attack England after today. Charles, we take your gift, and in return we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I am as good as my word. Toka, bring out the boy. King Father! Take me home! <laughs> there, 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 there. Don't stand straight like the future King of France here. God watches you, huh? I want me then music, silver and song. Dancing, and someone warm in my sheets. Come, friends, let us feast. Tomorrow! The Franks will bury their dead, thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bear our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the 
feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! This racing against pigs. <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? We have done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Where do I start? A <laughs> good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? <laughs> Are you tired, Eivor? Age catches up with all of us, I guess. Just warming up. They don't make pigs that fast in England. Oh, and you are pretty quick as well. I won the race, but Hermod is the big winner tonight. No matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glistened from the dew of slaughter. Yes, though. One wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. <laughs> Truly, Toka. Tonight we drink. And tomorrow... We vomit. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword with the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was surprised you gave the boy to Charles. It is an ill fate to be prince to such a lord. You're right, Toka. But what I did was not for Bernard. It was for us and for my clan. <laughs> Ah, Eivor! Cheese throwing. The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. <laughs> Just try not to hit anyone. Bravo, Evor! Good throw, Evor! Never underestimate the cheese. 
Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned the prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There is much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell. What else should I know? I could tell you. Or I could show you. In return, I could also show you a few tricks of the Frankish persuasion. I will have to repay the favor then, with my own set of skills. Shall we find some place quiet then? Away from this rabble. Lead the way. That was... nice. It was. I hope you know... well, Eivor, you know how I am. I indulge in the finer things in life. Various fine things, in fact, and... <laughs> Pierre, we both know what this was. Then, good. Is this something they do often, where you are from? I think I might like it there. <laughs> Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles's army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange? That you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads. Everything I have done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. There need not be blood for us to celebrate. We find countless reasons to feast. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe... We grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons, and we are no different than wolves, driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be, but for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hall waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy, and after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. to go after him.
Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinrich or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge. It has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Dry your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds. Look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself! Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood, the blood of more Franks, will be no solve for your grief. It is as if you speak with Simric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. To live. My time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... and find a new way. Where is he going? Away. Then I am going with him. No, Toka. Your clan needs you. He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. This fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. 
Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I'm unabound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. You sent for me, said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Pardon, sumes o sumes en la debt, says. The seers knows. At le meor the sue del justice. Si con dis Gisbert, salid de coleor. Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. The quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eivor. And I will carry the scars to remind me. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Sinrik's daughter now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a mail shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Rishadis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Eivor, a northern invader, than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. I gave Bernard to Charles as a bridge to an alliance. Yes, well, the boy barely lasted a day with that betrayer before running back to Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. <sighs> I will find Richardis. I am duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... she is my friend. There is one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. No. Murdering Charles on the hope it'll bring security to my clan is not the kind of deal I want to make. I misjudged you, Eivor. You stand before your people's best hope. Enough! You offer a promise you cannot keep, Odo. I'll go to the tavern in Amiens and find Richardus. Fine. Bonne chance, Eivor. I will pray for you to succeed where my men have not. The 
these men must have been the Queen's guard. Tavern Keep, what happened here? Hide! I am not sure it has gone. The monster, so much blood. Just hide! Better to look around myself. Must be blocked from the other side. <laughs> Was this how the Queen escaped? Or the way her enemies got turned? Or Odo's men? They failed to safeguard the Queen. A monk? What is he doing here? A scroll. It has an odd marking. Could have been a part of Bernard's studies. A red poppy. Yes, these are Odo's men. The tavern keep may know something about this scroll and its markings. There is a dead monk upstairs. And a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the queen there. my father. Something is wrong with him. Quiet, boy. I'm not going to take you to Charles. Not again. But last time... This is different. How did you escape? I snuck through the villa wall where there's construction. I climbed. Then I found Richardis at the tavern. I did it all on my own. Where is Richardis? Where is the queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to Father for something. A test. I was... What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At Father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house in Lisseux. I will see to Richardis. I can help. I know... things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. It'll be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up to it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo.
feet ache. The renovations better be worth all these double shifts. They won't be. The wall is being repaired. Bernard mentioned escaping through here. It will be a trial by fire. It cannot be. Surely God save hey, you die now. Oh. Almost finished. Ah! You are not getting away. I'll have your guts out. Ah. Can't get my kids. It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness. <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king, and before God. It's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs. Life. Stand aside, Bishop. Your God does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn. For little mother. For my brother Ebels. I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Bishop! I will kill you again! The Lord gets you! I am his last! I think you want the pain! You like it! I want me to send you to hell! Your wickedness! He's in you!
I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lizer. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flush of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Not a moment ago he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Fine. If I can, I will spare him. But I need to be sure he can abide these terms. I know you will do what's right. The Lord works through you, and he is merciful. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. My king, please, stay back! I will burn you! I know your fear! I have fire! I'm not him. I'm not the king. Gods.
place beyond my wildest mushroom cap dreams. The bedroom of the king and queen. Like it has never been touched. on the main hall door. She's the angel, the, the saint, the one who shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <gasps> But I knew, no amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below this scarred flesh, you were still there. You were still here. You have always been here. who lurks in these chambers. I killed him before. Maybe he will rise from the dead again. Fool. I am not mortal, but you are! Die! He seems... He seems to resist my attacks. It is burning me! Far from the 
operations. done to you. It did not have to be this way. He left me no choice. No, you made a choice. You are not who I thought you were, Eivor. You are not an agent of the Lord. You are a murderer. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors? I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. will never honor a bond with you, Northern Else. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you! Wait! Eivor! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richard is? Did you encounter Charles? Richard as yet lives. Charles does not. This is an unexpected gift! That makes today a day for our celebration! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any northerner I have met. He is hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is it wise to put our trust in him? The future is a mystery. Whether Odo will even attain his ambition is unclear. Then how am I to proceed? I cannot tell you that. You are the leader of your people now. Your instinct will determine their future. I have much to consider. Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long.
Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toka. You must have heard about Charles. We have eyes and ears everywhere. You did the right thing, Ivor. Frankia will have a better king. One you might even be inclined to follow. That remains to be seen. For now, loyalists rise to resist the change. We will continue our missions. So, what will it be? Back to England? To England. Off we go then. Are we safe? It will be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? I killed the Mad King, Charles the Fat. Odo, the Count of Paris, means to take the throne. Is that good for us? Time will tell. But Odo is an honorable man, and he has a kingdom to rebuild. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sinrik's daughter. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> She'll do right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tails to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> Strength comes to weathered halls. <laughs> <laughs> 